Do you know that your about page is one of the single most important pages on your entire website? When people arrive at your site, they first go to the home page usually, and that's a very important page, of course. But then they browse around. They look at your products, your services. If you have a blog, they might read some entries. And then before they make that critical buying decision, they often go to your about page because they want to know more about you. They want to know who you are, whether they will like you, whether they can trust you. So this about page is really critical. In this video, I'm going to give you suggestions for content for the about page, how to put it together, and then a few examples of some really effective about pages. So one of the biggest things that you need to keep in mind about your about page is that on this page, you are really trying to create a connection with your visitor, with your prospect. And in order to do that, you have to be a little bit more casual, I think, and a bit more conversational than you are in perhaps other parts of your website. But I do think that there are certain things you really need to have in there. How you put them together is really ultimately up to you. But among those, um, the pieces of content that you really need to have in there are your core message, your passion and purpose statement, your mission statement, and you can reword it a bit differently from other places on your site, but I do think it's important to have that. I think it's also important to state your beliefs, what you believe in. People want to know what you stand for. And they also want to know why you love your work. People want to work with people who are passionate about what they do, who are really committed to it. So I think it's important to include that. And also it's important to include your story, how you created this business, how you got started in it and why. And again, it reinforces that idea that you're very committed to what you do. You also want to include current and interesting photos as well as some personal information, not a huge amount, but you want to create a page that really creates a very thorough, a very complete, a very rich portrait of who you are. And that's how people feel like they're getting to know you. They can get to know you. They can like you and even trust you. And those things are so important when you're trying to create connection with people and ultimately trying to do business with them. So I'm going to start with my own about page. It's called who I am at marifeifer.com. And at the top, I have just this very nice little picture that my husband took uh, of me in downtown LA. And at the top I have restated my uh, core message here, who, what I do, who I work for, what I achieve for my clients. And then right below that I have a, a very current picture of myself here. I state what I believe in, what I think is important about website development and design. Then I go into what I love about my work and my story, how I got into all of this to begin with. And right below that, just a short line, a call to action asking people to contact me if they're interested in working with me. But it doesn't stop there. I have some pictures. This is my Instagram feed. So this also gives people another sense of who I am and what interests me and what I talk about on a day-to-day -day basis. People often go from here to Instagram to see more of my pictures. And then below that, I have a casual bulleted list of more fascinating facts about me, such as where I was born, where I grew up, where I went to college, previous jobs I had, some other skills I have, and so on. A little bit about my family and some interests I have, such as baking and reading and uh, TV shows that I like. And you'd be surprised, uh, because I have actually, um, when people contact me about working with me, Many of them do read this section and they mention things in this list to me. So I'm always very grateful that people read this far. I'm grateful that they mention them when they contact me. It creates connection. So I recommend adding some things like your hobbies or your interests or like to, wh what you'd like to do in your free time. And below that, a call to action. So anyway, enough about me. How about you? Shall we work together and then get in touch? All right, so I'm going to show you a few more examples. So. Let's move on to the next one. This is RAC performance. RAC stands for Rotational Athlete Conditioning. And the two gentlemen who run this business are two of the most sought after and best coaches for baseball pitchers, football quarterbacks, volleyball players, tennis players, and golfers. So they've restated their mission and you know who they work for and what they do. And in this banner image, this is pretty intense. Uh, Coach Randy is working with an athlete here. You can see him sweating a bit and it gives you a sense of what they do. 
Then just below that, they have a really nice picture of the two of them, much more casual, friendly. And I do think this is important because when people come to their site, they know what these guys do, but they also want to know that they're approachable. So they have this nice picture of them in their facility, in their um, uniforms, I guess. Maybe not really uniforms, but their t-shirts with the logos on them. Talks a little bit about who they are. And then they've got these nice pictures of people they have worked with. And some of these people, if you can see them, are some of the top athletes in their respective fields. We have Drew Brees, Tim Tebow. I'm so sorry, I can't remember the names of these two guys. And then I believe that's Barry Zito. And then below that, some nice individual pictures of them with their biographies and their experience. So this is really important for athletes and coaches and parents who want to work with Charlie and Randy. Um, it is important for people to know that they have this kind of experience as well as, you know, it increases again their no like, and trust factors. And since they work with a variety of athletes, they wanted to insert some information about the various sports that they work with and what they do with them and how each of them is different and how they can help them. And below that, their call to action. Are you ready to get to the next level? I'm ready. So I think this works really nicely for them. And again, it has all of those core elements in it. It has their mission statement, who they are, what they do, and so on. It's a little bit more formal than mine, but this has served these guys very well. So let's go on to yet another example. Finally, this is Salem Town Board Company. I came across these guys when I was looking for a skateboard for my daughter. Out of the blue, she said, Mom, I want a skateboard. So we started looking around. I have to tell you, when I came across this about page, I really fell in love with these guys. And they do something a little bit differently here. They have this wonderful video at the top of their page. So if you can get a video about you like this one, do it. It really does wonders on this page. And then right below that, they have all this wonderful information about where they are located, their hours. It tells their story. And it's a very casual way of storytelling, but it really, it's really wonderful. You feel immediately connected with these guys and want to buy from them. They also say that they are an extension of another company called Maple Built, and they have that link there. And they say, welcome to the family. This is really, really beautifully done. They have some wonderful pictures of the guys working in the shop, making the boards, skating with the boards. And, you know, these action shots, these still shots, they all go so well together. I think it's just wonderful. And they finish off with this shot. Actually, they finish off with this one. But this one I absolutely love because you get a sense of the fun these guys are having on the boards that they create uh, for themselves and for everyone else. So this is a wonderful example. So take a look at this one. All of the links to the pages are in the description area below this video. So I hope that this has helped you get an idea of how an about page can create connection, how it can really pull people in and make them want to buy from you or hire you. I think the about page is so important. I often call it the closer because I think that people often go there to find out once and for all to make their final decision as to whether to do business with you. So I hope you go out there and create a great about page. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon again in my next video.